surfaces or the main line surfaces. Uh, we should differentiate what are urban, suburban and main line surfaces. Suburban surfaces where the distance between the station E and B is almost between 1 to 2 km. And suburban surfaces, the distance between the point A and B is ranging from 2 to 5 km. And in the main line services, the distance between A and B station ranges from 10 to 50 kilometers or higher. Let us see further ki, uh, what will be the speed time curve for urban city services. The urban city services speed time curves will look something like this. In urban city services, because the distance is very small, we cannot have free running period. So the free running period in them is absent. The free running period is absent. This is not the free running period. This is actually the costing period. I should describe it. Then we require such electromotives which have very shorter acceleration period. You can see this is the acceleration period and this should be very shorter because the electromotives need to come uh, at the station A and leave it at as early as possible to maintain high frequency of uh, trains. You can see this, uh, this it has a very short notching period and accelerating period. It does not have any free running period after going to its maximum speed, say it is VM, after going to its maximum speed, it starts to deaccelerate because uh, the train will be about to reach its destination. So uh, the mean distance can be covered without acceleration further, without fetching any power. So this is actually the costing period. That is the electromotive is not drawing any electrical power, no electric power from the supply no electric power from the supply in the costing period. Further, uh, further in this period, the train has almost re reached its uh, destination. So mechanical or electrical brakes are need to be applied. Uh, but to keep it uh, more efficient, this period is kept a bit larger or longer so that uh, the momentum, the energy stored in, into the momentum of the energy can be utilized in a best way. So the braking period is also larger. So uh, we in uh, urban ser services, we need electromotives that have uh, acceleration of 1.5 to 4 km per hour per second, deacceleration period of 3 to 4 km per hour per second. You can see uh, the acceleration period and deacceleration period. The deacceleration period is uh, larger as compared to the acceleration period. The average height of uh, average speed of the electromotive is around 120 km per hour because of high acceleration. The costing period is small. The costing period is small in comparison to the in comparison to the braking time. We can see. So we have uh, already defined the distance between the station should be 1 to 2 kilometers for suburban uh, for urban services. The acceleration of the electric motor, uh, electric motor should be very high. Same, the uh, retardation period should also be high. And due to these two conditions, the average speed of the electric motor, uh, electric uh, locomotive is usually high because it has to travel for a very short interval of time. And as the acceleration and uh, retardation period are high, so it's it, it will be having high average speeds. Now let us discuss for the suburban services. The speed time curve for suburban services will look something like this. You can clearly differentiate between these two, the urban and suburban, that the costing period in this, this is the costing period. The costing period in this is higher as compared to the braking period. As we already know, in costing period, the electric locomotives are not drawing any kind of electrical power from the source. So they are covering this distance or uh, this, this much distance without uh, fetching any power. So to make them efficient, so make, to make them more efficient, the electric locomotives uh, must run for a longer period in the costing zone. Also, they must have very high acceleration. So the duration of uh, uh, duration required to reach the maximum speed should be very small. 
here it is vm we generally represent the acceleration with alpha and deacceleration period with beta here also the acceleration period is 1.5 to 4 km per hour per second here it is second and the deacceleration period is also 3 to 4 km per hour per second this whole is the deacceleration period this is deacceleration and this is the acceleration period okay there 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 uh, there is also the free running period is also absent the crossing period is longer and the breaking time is smaller you can see the breaking time is smaller the crossing period is longer now we should see for main line services well actually this should be the main line main line services speed time curve in the main line services speed time curve you will find the acceleration period free running period and deacceleration period all the three periods will be considered here here we do not need the high acceleration so uh, it generally has a larger acceleration period where most of it is covered under the pickup time this is the pickup time then train runs for a longer time in the free running period and for a very small interval of time into the deacceleration period uh, this smaller interval of time is in comparison to this free period not in comparison to the urban and suburban getting so the free running period is longer acceleration is very small uh, you can see 0 0.6 to 0 0.8 km per hour deacceleration period is 0 0.8 to 1.5 km per hour per second the average speed should be higher the costing period is longer and the braking period is smaller over here the costing period is longer and the braking period is smaller this this is small no no not small this is larger in comparison to the urban and suburban suburban services but as you can see the curve is very random in fashion we cannot draw any inference from it to draw any kind of inference we need to simplify this curve the curve can further be simplified the curve can further be simplified either by approximating it to the trapezoidal shape trapezoidal shape or by approximating it to the quadrilateral shape we'll discuss them further here is a quick comparison between the services we have already seen the distance between the station uh, for urban is 1 to 2 km whereas for suburban it is 2 to 5 km and for main line it is 10 to 15 km, 50 km the acceleration period is almost the same in urban and suburban whereas it is very small in case of main line services uh, deacceleration uh, the period is also the same in urban and suburban whereas it is very small in comparison to the main line services average speed is 120 here 120 here but the average speed required here is 160 km per hour as in this we need to cover a larger distance to have a good uh, good uh, frequency of the electromotives we need to have higher speeds of electromotives Let's move ahead. Uh, let's see the simplified.